Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a week since the release of Digimon Evolution Volume 2. And this time we are going to dig deeper on the Holy Wings BEM. The BEM has 4 rookies, 5 champions, 5 perfect form, and 7 megas. 5 of these Digimons are hidden behind the adventure mode and the mystery evolution is Ravemon burst mode. These guys have different set of ability pool which we will discuss in relation to the current meta. Oh, before we continue, these are the background themes that you can get from this BM. It seems that Bandai designed the Halloween's BEM as a hard counter for Lugamon. Except Metallic Dramon, every Digimon, uh, the mega form in this BEM is Vaccine Digimon. The whole abilities are either HP buff or BP buff. There's only one normal rank offensive ability. Check out the link on the video description for the complete ability pool. So which ability should we look for in this BEM? Here's the thing. In a normal situation where getting UR or SSR ability requires patience and persistence, where you have to train multiple Digimon or actually save lots of tickets to get that rare ability, the whole ability pool itself have values in building an arena team. But you guys must have known by now that with the current ability reset abuse, there is almost no reason in keeping less than SSR rank ability in your Digimon. But I will still put my non-SSR or UR ability for your consideration. Also, there's no point in going into detail with Digimon less than Megas because at the moment we do not have the content that can make other Digivolution stage relevant. At the moment, only if there's a say non-official tournament where certain rules can be enforced, a certain ability pool that can be included or limited, or probably only a certain Digivolution stage uh, that can be used in the battle, those uh, stages might be relevant. Do you think you will be interested in such tournament? Let me know in the comment section. Let's start with the first mega, Phoenix Hoomon. Considering its nature as a phoenix, its start are mediocre. I would not expect to see this bird in a competitive setting. It was one of my favorite Digimon, so it is unfortunate to see this bird wasted by Bandai. Same goes with this android Digimon with the chrome Digizoid wing, Ravemon. Its thoughts are even worse than Homon and uh, have no edge in competitive settings. Probably that because we have the burst mode hidden in the uh, adventure level 12. With one of the highest BP stats in the meta, Ravemon burst mode also has a nice AP and HP. The only data Digimon in the mega lineup, Sky Dragon Metallic Dramon has also so so stat. Next, another holy bird with the size of a mountain, Champenon. This is one of the Jogra's material to unlock Shakamon. And the other material is Dominimon, which is a Digimon with slightly higher BP than Hoomon, but have a lower HP. Finally, the Jogra's hidden evolution, Shakamon. This ancient protector of the digital world boasts a high stats across all parameters. Hands down, is the strongest Digimon from this BEM. Shakamon is on the top 3 in terms of HP and AP and the runner-up in BP if you exclude Mecha Gaugamon, Crestmon, and Takemikazuchi, Fenderloop. It has 100 BP less than Ravemon Burst Mode. Now, the only difference between Shakamon and Ravemon Burst Mode is uh, their HP and BP stats. In my opinion, the best ability combo is to pair them with either UR Friend from Draconic Blaze or SSR Burst from Digimon Seeker. When you are Wonder and you are Friend active and they have maximum bonus stats, Ravemon Burst Mode will have a 10,140 BP something before minigame, which is 130 points higher than Shakamon. On the other hand, you are Friend will increase Shakamon HP to around 8,600. Uh, which is 600 points higher than the burst mode. The difference in defense may be nothing in most of the time, but having higher HP will give you more room against um, double attack because double attack ignore defense. If you choose to partner it with SSR burst from the 
Lugamon BM, it will boost uh, Shakamon attack to around 3700 and Ravemon burst mode attack to about 3600. Before we test them in battle, I just like to remind you that the SSR ability of the Hollowings have similar defense boost with different active condition than the UR uh, counterpart. The SSR congeniality requires a correct matchup against Faxon Digimon, while the UR ability activates when you hit excellent at minigames. I know most of the times you will get that perfect defense, so you should be fine, but in case you miss that window, that 30% DP will be wasted. Let me show you how impactful that would be in both advantage matchup and disadvantage matchup. Anyway, that's all for this video. Click that thumbs up button if you find this video to your liking and stay tuned for more. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.